Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Now in Romans, Paul talks about this love. Romans 5. Let me read from verse 6. It says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. I want to take note of that. Who did he die for? The ungodly. While he was on earth, our Lord Jesus said emphatically on some occasions that he didn't come for the righteous. That he came for the sinners. He said he came to seek and to save that which was lost. He said that he didn't come for those who are whole, those who are healthy. So because those who are whole, they don't have any need for a physician, for a doctor. He said he came for the sick, for the weak. Hallelujah. And that is what the message of the gospel is all about. Is to make the weak strong. To make the poor rich. To make the downcast and lifted up in confidence and assurance. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he died for the ungodly. He died for the sinner. <laughs> that even when you think you are weak, you are your weakest point as a Christian, even morally speaking, God said he died for you in that state. Because the enemy will come to you and say, listen, you are weak, you see, you have done this, you have done that. You see, it will start to blame you, it starts to bring a, you see, guilt into your heart. You see, this you have done, you see, it's because you have done this, you will never succeed in what you are doing. You will never prosper in what you are doing because of the things you've done in the past where you lived a life as a young girl. Now you are a woman, you are married, you never have children, you never have been able to conceive and things like that. He will bring false accusation against you. He will want to condemn you. But the Bible tells us who he died for. He died for you in that ungodly state. And now that you believe in him, he says you shall not perish. That means you will not have the consequences of death on your life, the consequences of sins on your life, which is death. Hallelujah. In other words, you have everlasting life. This life you now have transcends and supersedes and is above the consequences of the mistakes you made in your life. Glory to Jesus. The love of God. 